Hello and welcome back to Deep Rock, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Sabata, and we're going to be taking a build on just a regular old mission and see how it does, because at least last time when I was playing this, automatic fire was acting a little bit strange to me, and I want to see if it still was working this way. So the Sabata will be reworked as soon as Season 4 comes out. This is the beta currently, and you can see some of its uh, gear modifications have been changed. But I'm going to be taking this one. This is the two-round burst fire, so every shot that you fire fires out two rounds, and I'm going to be taking the new blow-through rounds. Beyond that, fairly regular stuff increased magazine size, increased damage, and extra ammo. And we have the new skin on it. This is the brand new infected skin. Uh, this is what we're going to get in season four of the battle pass, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, definitely looks creepy. For a primary weapon, I'm going to be taking the flamethrower, build all for reach, fairly standard flamethrower. Other than that, axes, C4, all this. And I have the new skin color on for our driller here. This is the new plastic, which looks kind of interesting. I kind of like the neon yellow, but it looks a little bit weird. Now, I'm curious. Yes, for some reason, automatic fire seems to be bugged right now. I'm not entirely sure if it is. You can see it has two round bursts, and you can't just hold down the trigger and keep firing it. But for whatever reason, automatic fire does seem to fire out two rounds at the same time, but only consume one ammunition. I'm not sure why that is because with the other overclocks that I've tested with this, it seems to not work this way. You still take, uh, oops. Still getting just, oh, there's two of them. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Like, dang, I'm really getting hit by that one acid spitter. I can't hit these guys at all. <laughs> I missed three axes in a row. All right. Well, let me just try to climb my way out of here thanks to low gravity. And I guess we'll just light the acid spitters on fire. That's probably easier on our part. I'm not sure if blow-through rounds honestly would have been the best for this or if we should have just went with volatile bolts. But blow-through rounds is new, so we should probably use that up while we can. Because the new Sabata feels actually pretty decent. It feels similar to how they buffed the GK2 uh, towards the latter half of Season 3, which is nice. Because for the longest time, a lot of people have really complained about the Sabata, and I still have seen comments of people complaining about the Sabata. Uh, which, I mean, if it's not your cup of tea, I, I totally understand. I've never really had a problem with the weapon. I've thought it's always been fine. And we still got the... <laughs> I am not doing well with the axes today. <laughs> Where did that axe even go? Molly! I guess I'm just gonna sit down here in my uh, little minefield. <laughs> Trying not to get struck down by meteors. <laughs> right, we got another swarm already? Dang, alright. Well, I'm two for two. Can we go three for three then? Because three of these are guaranteed to be swarm eggs. Oh, wait, I can get a Steve. No, Bosco, no! <laughs> you murdered him. Oh, there's a detonator up there. Okay, well. Wow. Time to run away, then. Time to bravely cower in the corner and hide. Blow fire back at everything that's coming this way. This seems a little bit more lively of a swarm. Oh, wait, I can get... Yes! Oh. Oh, wait, no, that was... Alright, we're out there. Never mind. Now oh, here comes the detonator. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough stuff to kind of deal with him. I don't know if I really will. I'm oh, sorry, Steve. Didn't mean to light you on fire, buddy. Right. Ah! More acid. Now, bugs, we have a detonator to deal with. We might actually have enough stuff to deal with him. I mean, we do have a boss kill, which certainly helps. I also, okay, I actually have been collecting nitro. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I might run into a problem shortly after this. No. Uh oh. Oh, Bosco got the detonator. Alright. Oh, Steve's gone though. This might seem a little bit strange, but I swear that this is more accurate now. If you put the two round burst fire on automatic fire, it seems to be more consistent at range. I'm 
not entirely sure why that is. And even at close range, it's still fine since you can't hold down the trigger and just keep spam firing this. This does feel a little bit awkward uh, without any sort of recoil reduction, but it's not too bad. Most of the time, it's fine. But I mean, if you want to pick off something like this from a distance, it actually feels a little bit better than it used to, weirdly enough. Although, maybe they phantom buffed, uh, like, the automatic fire in general. I don't know. That one wasn't one of the ones that did get changed. The only one that technically got changed, tranquilizer rounds, which we're going to be trying that out sometime soon because I haven't tried that out yet. But now they're supposed to add a slow on top of a stun, and I'm not sure if that applies both to something like a Praetorian. I'll have to test that. Oh, an oppressor. Oh, hang on, oppressor. I'm going to light you on fire, and then we're going to shoot you with a handgun and see how much damage that does. Probably not a whole lot, but... Who knows? It might do some. Oh, there's a shell back in me. Yeah, that's doing okay damage. Yeah, that's not a bad DPS on an oppressor. It's nothing, like, crazy, but it's okay. Oh, I found jet boots! Heck yeah! This isn't a custom mission either, so... This is actually, I think, the very first non... Oh, dang it! Yeah, really, where is Haxi? I suck at this game. There we go. <laughs> it only took four or five tries, but whatever. <laughs> I've never been... I don't know if I've ever actually played Flappy Bird, besides in, like, other games. But hey! Jet Boots on Driller, although it is at the end of the mission, so I don't know how useful this is going to be, because... Oh, hey, Golden Loot Bug! Everything just suddenly got a whole lot better. And this is going to be our Horde Egg, isn't it? It actually isn't. Okay. <laughs> it's the very last egg. The first two and then the last one. Huh. I know technically I don't have another egg, but I haven't. Ooh, actually. Oh, Jet Boots was perfect, although they put Jet Boots all the way up here. Yes. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, there's a big swarm. They just ate me. Alright, there we go. Light them on fire with the jet boots. I like that that's a thing too. Yeah, this is where the detonator was, huh? Yep, definitely where the... Actually, that might have been C4. Huh, I do like the two, the new two round burst fire for this. I think that's pretty cool. I haven't really tried it for like chain hit though. Because you can have this plus uh, blow through rounds on chain hit. I think that will actually be pretty good. Because it's pretty good on the revolver if you take uh, super blow through rounds on that. You do have more stuff that you can shoot through with the revolver, but that shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, so let's go, Molly and Bosco. More stuff here. Oh, yeah, so we can go all the way straight up, too. Oh, wow. That, okay, we might have went a little bit too far. No, all right, we're good. be on our way then say goodbye to the loot bugs on the way I don't know where the golden loot bug went he should have been fine unless exploder showed up or something well now he should be fine we didn't see any gold all right no way we go rock and stone and that was the new two round burst with automatic fire I'm not sure if that's an intended bug an intended buff to the automatic fire or if this is gonna be fixed upon the actual release uh, I feel like it probably is a bug since it doesn't seem to work with any of the other uh, overclocks, at least that I'm aware of. But uh, tell me your thoughts on the new Sabata changes. Will you be using the Sabata more, less, um, still probably not touching it? <laughs> Whatever it might be, give it another chance. I'm curious. Tell me down in the comments below. I'd like to hear that. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.